Hi, this is Dr. Travis from Ambiente Gallery, and today I'd like to talk to you about vitamin D supplementation. Okay, now when we talk about vitamin D supplementation, there's not a one size fits all for each individual. It's a very tailored type of supplementation, and you want to go at it with some type of knowledge. And typically, that knowledge comes from testing. Okay, you want to test your blood concentration of 25 hydroxy vitamin D, and that's the blood test that they do um, to let you know the number. Uh, the number is a concentration of that molecule within the blood. And below 20 or 25, depending on the research that you're looking at, would be considered um, deficiency, medical deficiency. Okay, so you want to make sure you're at least above that at a minimum. But then there are optimal levels that, you know, is debated in the research. Okay, so you have to decide what range you want to fit in. Typically, the research suggests between 50 and 80 units within the blood is ideal for optimal health and wellness. Okay, and then from that point, you want to pick all right, what range do I want to be in and, and how far away am I, okay? Typically, uh, 5,000 IUs of vitamin D per day can help increase your blood concentration of 25 hydroxy vitamin D over, over a period of time. Now you want to test that to make sure you're doing it accurately. So typically the best time to test would be in October, you know, after you've gone through a summer and supplemented to see how you did and where you got your blood concentration. And then next you want to test again in the spring to see how you reacted with your supplementation over the winter. After a couple of years, you'll be able to hone in really, you know, what you need based on your behaviors in the summer and then what you need based on your behaviors in the winter time. Just remember, to, you know, anything can be too much, so don't take too much of a good thing. You want to keep it in a good range. Thank you.